Start with Mike from Bruin Report. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good morning. Oh, good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. You know, uh, you guys have said that, you know, you, you work with the individual positions, but you also oversee um, – a lot of the, uh, the the team together, you know. So, what have you seen so far from Jay Toya and uh, Devin? Uh, forgive my forgive my mispronunciation, Devin uh, Apu, uh, who just uh, committed yesterday. Um, have you seen anything so far noteworthy? You know, it's it's really all the guys that have, have come in have come in and started contributing right away. Some of it just by being on time and guys knowing other guys. So there's a lot of energy and encouragement around the group, but. I can't specifically say all the things and I'm sort of locked into my secondary world and defense is all sort of the back end right now. Uh, sp uh, speaking of that, you know, the past defense was 114th last season. You know, what changes uh, have you made to try to um, improve that standing? And, you know, what, what can you see from the defensive backs this year? Well, we're just trying to be better, better all around. So some of that is just being more, more attentive to the details of what we do defensively. I think right now we got a lot of energy in the group and a lot of energy to get better. So guys understand as they watch last year's film, the things that we got to do better at. And a lot of it is just, just little things because it's not so much at times being uh, where, where cats are just running scot free open as much as it is just at times finishing at the, uh, at the, at the point of attack, you know, so we're doing not only the drill work, it's the energy behind the guys understanding the little things, whether it's alignment, assignment, disguise that put us in a great position and also letting us know there's a full thing defense. If I'm, if I'm rushing the passer, then I got to get home, you know, finishing plays. As you look at it, there's a lot of areas where we can finish plays better this year from last year. Kukni, LA Times. Hi, Coach, how are you doing? Doing good, how are you? Good, it's good to see you. So uh, we've asked the players this a lot that it must be nice to get back to somewhat normal with some of the protocols being released. But for you, having spent your first year at UCLA in all of that COVID weirdness, how nice is it um, to be able to bond with your players in person again, not having to go through Zoom all the time? And just how much better do you think that could make your, your job and as a result, this team? Well, well, I tell you what, that's a, that's a very valid question. And I think people don't realize how much that whole COVID year affected a lot of things. Uh, you take a new coach coming in, um, implementing uh, with Coach Coach As putting together some new defensive schemes, uh, not really having spring ball, <laughs> you know, really just having uh, a short period of time, a couple of days. And then guys doing a great job of learning all this via Zoom, learning it in, in, in Zoom sessions where we're not practicing, not spring ball. So then, you know, again, going into a, uh, a season where, you know, the, you know, last year they were learning me and I was learning them. So there was a lot of learning going on. I couldn't tell you who was the best tacklers going into our first game because we had to make sure that we were, we were together from a, a sports performance standpoint, given time to get make sure we're ready physically to go and then going into a season with guys and going to new things. So last spring and all the statistics and all that stuff was tremendous and learning new things, but it's so much with this year just having guys uh, that you've worked a year through, you've been through spring ball. Now we're going into a fall camp where you're seeing guys all the time that I think gives us a better chance. So, uh, you know, I think that's a great question. And I think everybody, uh, coaching staff and players and strength staff with Coach Belton and his new staff, everybody's in a different place right now, you know, sort of building on the energy that we finished the season with that really says we got to finish much better. Mm -hmm. And some of the players have been talking about how they want to make sure that this team is player led, not coach fed. So what are some of the examples that you see that player of players leading this team? What does that look like to you in practice? Well, in practice, it looks like, you know, first of all, the energy of the group. And that really started in, in a lot of things happen in off season when you actually get a, a real solid off season. And, and uh, you know, Coach Belton is a tremendous sports performance coach. A lot of the challenges and the fight and all those things are established in the weight room, and some of the some of the workouts that they have, the competition in there. Then it transfers over to the uh, to fall camp. So guys take ownership in the way they go about things is 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 individual led. So the leaders in the group, uh, 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 the the uh, Quantrez, uh, Bo, you know, all the guys, you know, up front. This is this a host of them. They're making it everybody accountable for how they're doing. During the off season, it's touched the line. If cats aren't touching the line, uh, then, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, uh, 
a point to be made, and they make that point. They hold guys accountable. So now on the, on the football field and practice right now, they're holding guys accountable for the little things. I don't have to say anything because Blaylock and other guys are, are holding guys accountable. So um, it's just raising the bar. They understand last year that it was inches. I mean, had a chance in every game. It wasn't the game that we played. We didn't have a chance to win. And um, we got to find a way to have, be victorious. And victorious, as I say, is when you learn from those things that are challenging, and now you go out and pursue those little things that allow you opportunities to win. Thanks. Brother Sam Conan from SI. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Hi, how are you doing, Sam? Good. So uh, you were talking about Keith Belton, having him and that new strength staff in. A lot of the players have been talking about him and how much he's helped them in the offseason. What have you seen from him, what he's bringing to, to the facilities and how he's helping these players so far? Well, you know, I think he, he has a passion for what he does. And uh, and that's not to say anything in light of the, only a belt. And I've known him for a while. We worked together at, at Baylor years back. And uh, he brought an energy and a passion that was consistent. So he's uh, he really has a unique way to really um, pour into young men and challenge them. And, uh, and then also uh, be a good listener, you know. And I think sometimes that's uh, uh, an art to, to that, to be able to see each individual kid and, and, and their strengths. And then also understanding there's ways to push buttons with kids and everybody has to be a teammate. So um, I think the guys have really responded. He puts it in, in relationship to football and carries it over to what we have to do on the field. And if you realize when we're out in practice, he's on the sideline saying those same fundamental things that, uh, that he said in the weight room to keep guys focused in on the things they need to focus into. And then uh, Devin Kirkwood was one of the guys who really, really impressed as an early enrollee in spring. And Coach Kelly the other day was talking about how he's such a hard worker. What, what are you seeing from, from Devin and what, what do you expect from him this year? Well, you know, I expect, you know, Devin sort of to do what he does right now. He, he does work extremely hard. He's a great teammate. Uh, his, his, his passion and energy is consistent. He doesn't like making mistakes. So, you know, he's a kid that's going to be hard on himself. He's going to ask extra questions and want extra time to go through things. So I think, you know, Devin is working hard and, and he takes coaching not only for me, but the older guys in the group. If they challenge him and say they're looking at him because of the plays that he's making as, as a guy that can be challenged. And he accepts that. So, um, you know, Blay, Q, they'll, they'll get after him uh, and, uh, and challenge him in things. But they know, uh, Kirk knows that, that those guys love him. And, uh, and they're going to not, not ask him to do anything they want to do themselves. So. It's a, he's a good player. There's a good group. I like the group of guys that we have back there. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Go back to Mike. Hey, Coach. Piggybacking off of that, um, you know, obviously De uh, Devin Kirkwood is, is uh, making an impact. Are there any other youngsters uh, that, that are, uh, um, or even uh, guys that have been here uh, a while that have taken that step over the offseason and could be a force to be reckoned with? Yeah, well, you know, the 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 young guys and new guys that have come in, you know, DJ Warnell is is competing uh, and, and and doing a good job learning the system, and you know, is is, is chopping wood there. Um, uh, the same thing with Cam Cam Johnson's and a new kid that's come in, and he's really doing some things at corner. Uh, the great thing is that we have we have depth and competition, which which makes everybody come out each day to raise raise the bar. Because if not, the next guy is is competing for that spot as well. So um, you know, you know, all those those young guys are, 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 are have come in and really uh really done a nice job. I don't want to start you know naming without you know missing folks. The Humphreys, the guys, because Humphrey didn't go through spring at all last year, and uh, this past spring, and it's, he's so he's jumping out and and uh, and doing things. And uh, so there's a, there's a host of getting you know some of the young guys, the Moore, Josh Moore, and some of those guys, and and uh, Isaiah uh, Newcomb. Some of those guys are getting some reps, and then the, the Alex Johnsons and. Uh, and the Willis, I mean, it's just a host of guys that I think that are young that are showing uh, promise if it's not on the defensive side of the balls within the special teams as well. Thank you. Let's go to Rick Kimbrell from Bruin Blitz. Hi, Coach. What does it take to be an elite defense? And do you think that with some growth, this team could become an elite defense that you're coaching right now? You know, we're, we're working towards being the best defense that we can. I think, you know, elite defenses are sort of developed as you go about as guys buying into the, uh, the work ethic, the effort, um, you know, effort and fundamentals being 
uh, a passion that guys understand that my brother is going to attack the ball and he's going to make a tackle. If he misses it, I'm overlapping him by the effort and the angles that I'm taking. So it's really, I think, Coach Az has done a tremendous job just, you know, you know, pouring in just, you know, the, the, the philosophical deals about the, the fundamentals of defense, how we run the ball, how we pursue, you know, crossing two lines, you know, um, understanding if I'm the field corner, I got to know the boundary corners defense, understanding, you know, the, not just my position, but how I fit within things. So uh, I think like like when guys start taking responsibility again, it starts in the weight room, it starts in all those aspects and guys hold each other accountable. So I think we have the ingredients of that. We just got to keep working every day. And I think it's something that happens. I don't think it's something that I can totally predict, but if you keep checking off the boxes on the signs of those things that you have, you have a good chance. What do you think the defense has to do to improve the most? I think it's just what we do every day. I really do. I don't think it's, 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 it's a magic in that, um, like I said, last year we did some things and we saw, you know, we, we've given a place here or we made plays here and just being consistent. It was more about us doing things. And as long as we continue to hold each other accountable and we're accountable ourselves, I think it gives us a chance. We just got to keep chopping wood every day and, and that tree will fall down. Thank you very much and best of luck to you, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. All right. Any, any final questions for Coach before we let him go? All right, great. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.